everybody's zoomed, zoomed, zoomed out, you know, with regards to everything. So we'll just keep going, making sure that I'm going live within the group. Okay, awesome. Anyway, um, I am super excited. I love what we just shared, um, Carlina, just a minute ago when I asked you, you know, who is your, who's your sponsor, who's your upline, and you shared something super important, which is, well, I mean, the two people that were above me, are they, they disappeared, they left the business, and then Brian Marsh, you, you said it's kind of a blessing in disguise when, uh, you know, that now you get to work directly with Brian. And I think it's so important, especially when people are starting, for them to remember that. Because uh, I don't know if you know the story about Jeff, you know, Jeff Roberti, the number one person with our company and, and in this profession, and his upline quit. Uh, two, his, his, uh, two weeks after he was in the business. So um, I think that that's really, really important that people, for us to remember that people are the doorway, not necessarily the destination. So we're going live here within um, the YOLO group, and this is also, we'll be putting this on a YouTube as well. And like I said, we have a lot of people that are in Europe and a lot of people still here at work, and a lot of people I think just are overwhelmed with Zooms or having, I think they said the new, the new smoking is sitting, is what they say, because everybody's been sitting so much at the computer. So I thank you for doing this event with us. We do it once a month. For everybody to understand that concepts are constant and techniques really vary. And you've got such a great upline with uh, Linda and, you know, Kira and Brian and all of these wonderful people. But I want you to talk just a little bit about what you do to start people strong. And so a little bit about um, Carlina. Am I saying that correctly? I hope I am. So Carlina, yeah. Nolan, she's a QNMD and been with Juice Plus for four years. She's a stay-at-home mama to four children, I don't believe it, age uh, 8 to 18. And like she, you know, I think like many of us, you know, we lose ourselves a little bit, lack financial independence, and had a burning desire to be more than just a mom, and, but that fear of failure really held her back. So after losing everything financially, while we have a lot, our stories are very similar. So this is yeah. cool. Um, Stepped into this life-changing business which gave her freedom and flexibility to remain with her children while creating financial abundance and independence. And she gets to live a life on purpose and passion and really build a global community. So I am really grateful that you're here and I am thrilled to see you've got your outcomes behind you and that with regards to, you know, going Q and going NMD 24 club. Looks like we've got a lot of people that you're working to help the clubs and that's really the truth is that we don't do well unless everybody else does well so and i see you've got lots of great systems we say that systems make money uh projects cost money if you would so i would love just to talk with you and just have you share for about 20 minutes on what are the things when you're starting someone strong so i'm going to pass it on over to you awesome Amazing. Thank you so much for having me. I'm a little bit nervous being here, I've got to be honest. So um, hopefully I can deliver some gold for you today. Uh, but really, I think, you know, in this business, I'm so grateful for everything that this business has provided for me. Uh, and, you know, I really um, came to light when I moved my children to the east coast of Australia on my own and my youngest son didn't cope well with the move and so he developed massive anxiety around starting a new school and I was able to actually work from his classroom for about six months of the year and that's when I really drew a line in the sand and made a decision that you know I was going all in with this business because what an incredible gift, right? I truly believe this business is a gift and it's now my responsibility to share this with everyone because if it can allow me to work from my son's classroom and still bring in an income, imagine what it could do for somebody else. So that's how I go into my day every single day thinking, wow, whose life can I change today? Because this has been life changing for me. Um, and, you know, I just keep thinking if there was another little boy out there like my son who was absolutely terrified and their poor mum had to drop them off and go to work and that son had to cry at school all day, I, that just breaks my heart. So um, really getting out of my head and into my heart. And that's what I encourage all my new people to do when getting started is really 
surrender to the system and stop making this about yourself. It is not about you. And it took me a really long time to, um, to work that out. And I'm going to say, look, you can get so far in this business by making it about yourself, but it's going to come to a halt. Um, so the sooner that you can realize that it's not about you and it's about everybody else and how you can help change their lives, the easier this business is going to flow for you. And um, I think just the easier life in general uh, and the more connected you will be also. So um, what I love to do is really I get um, when when I uh, am starting somebody, I will get them to really connect with their heart and think about those people that are close to them uh, and think about who they would love to help with their health, who they would love to help, you know, create an extra income to put groceries on the table or to spend extra time at home and really take out um, take out the concept of, oh, they're going to say no, it's not for them. Um, that's not for us to, to decide. That's not our decision. And um, who are we robbing by not sharing this incredible opportunity with them, right? So it's about who we would love to help and why we would love to help them. And I think that is the most important part, really connecting with why you would love to help them. So when you do share this with them, they are, they, they're, they're appreciative that you actually took the time to think about what this could be for them, why you want to change their health, why you want to improve their family's life, rather than just saying to people, oh, I have this incredible product. It's fruits and vegetables in a capsule. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You need to have this. Example of that. I love this. So there's a couple of things that you've already said that I think are so important. And if you're listening, it's the same it's what Cheryl and Jeff told us to do, you know, from the beginning that, that it doesn't matter how you do it. Some people might want to reach out on social media. Somebody might reach out with a phone call. Somebody, it's the, but the system and what we do is the same. But I love what you said. You said two things. One, you said surrender to the system, which is awesome. And then the second thing that you said is really why you want them to be on the products, right? Mm -hmm. So um, let's, let's play a little game for a second. So tell me what you're calling me. Why? Yeah. Let's just do a little role play. Why? What would you say to me when you're calling somebody? Because I think everyone wants to tell me what I need to say. So amazing. And I actually have some verbiage scripts that I can pop into the um, the, the live after this if you like. Uh, so I would I literally get people just to so I think about who's on their list. So I'm calling you. So. Um, Hey, Lauren, I hope you're well. What have you been up to? How's the family? Have a little bit of a conversation. Um, hey, look, I don't know if you've seen what I'm up to. You may have, but uh, anyway, I've started my own side business that I'm really passionate about and I couldn't help but think that it might be something that may in interest you because I know that you've been struggling financially and, you know, throughout COVID, uh, you know, you, you haven't been able to bring in that income. And I thought this might be a way uh, that could help you bring in an extra income. If I was to share some more information with you, would you be open to taking a look? No worries if not, just thought I would ask. So I am sharing with why I thought of you. Uh, I'm asking if you would be open to taking a look. I'm not shooting on you and pushing it on you. And then I, there's an out at the end, right? So no worries if not, just thought I would ask so that the conversation can still flow on after that. Right. Love it. Love it. Love it. So I'm going to let you keep talking because you're doing great. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah. So, uh, so that's something that I get people to do. I have a couple of different scripts that I use, but we always tailor it to the person and to why we thought of them. And, you know, we can get in deeper with that and share some um, testimonials around that as well, whilst we're in conversation. So that's the very first thing that I get people to do and really connect with those people. Uh, we all, I also get you to um, get really clear on your vision. So I think this is really important. If you don't understand why you're here and what your goals are and what you want to achieve, then you're kind of just going to be flailing through this business without um, any idea of what you're working towards. And I think that goes 
in life in general. And, you know, behind me, I have my April goals on the whiteboard. I've got my team's goals on there. Now, when you're getting started, you, you might not have, you know, these um, big, hairy, audacious goals, but I encourage you to really get clear. You know, it might just be that you want an extra $300 a month just to help pay a bill. And that's amazing. $300 a month is life changing, right? That's an extra, what is that? My maths is so bad, like three and a half thousand dollars a year, something like that. Um, so, and that's, that's life changing. So really work out what that looks like for you and get your upline to help reverse engineer that. So how many orders is that going to take? Um, how many conversations do you need to have for that? How many lives are you going to change? And it's fantastic to have these massive goals that we want to work towards, but I really encourage you to um, have small manageable goals along the way, because if we just focus on the big thing at the end, it can seem so far out of reach and we can feel like we're not getting anywhere. But if we celebrate all the small wins along the way, it encourages encourages us to show up and do more and get excited. And you can really see the, the effort that you're putting in. And that's something that I encourage my whole entire team to do. And we celebrate everything. So be proud of yourself for starting a conversation. Be proud of yourself for doing a first post. Um, those things are stepping outside our comfort zone, right? And when we step outside our comfort zone, that's when growth and change happens. And um, that's where the magic really starts to happen. So celebrate that. Celebrate your sidelines for doing that as well. And um, celebrate that on social media. So other people are uh, getting inspired by, you know, what's going on in your world. So I really encourage you to celebrate all those little small wins along the way. Get really clear on your vision, where you're headed, and, um, you know, just make a decision that you're going to go all in with this. Really make a decision. You all started, you all joined this business because you saw, you caught a vision of what this could be for you. Right, you wanted a change, whether it was with your health or whether it was with your health. But if you're watching this training, then you want to create something more for your life. So really right. just make a decision. And I think every leader will be able to tell you where um, when they drew a line in the sand and were able to pin like they could pinpoint that exact moment where they were like, I'm all in, let's do this and really treat it like a business. So that's um, one of my biggest tips for people getting started is treat it. And I, I, can you talk a little bit about, it really is a decision. It's a resolve, right? It's like, what was your decision to go? It's all, I'm all in. You know, you had three, like you said, like this was four years ago. So your kids were 14, you were, you know, and four years old. What made you like not listen to the excuses, but really listen to like, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for this. What was it? What was the yeah. decision for you? What made it? A must. My, my defining moment was February last year. And I like I've had a tumultuous ride throughout my four years in my normal life. And we did lose everything financially when we were living back on the west coast of Australia. My partner was working in Sydney. We didn't see him for two years straight. So I packed up because I had nothing left in WA, moved my kids to the east coast. So we could be closer as a family, but then COVID hit and we didn't get to see each other again. And I was on my own. My son was not coping with school. I was ready to throw it all in because I just, I didn't feel like I had anything left to give and I was so broken as a person. And a gorgeous friend of mine said to me, look at everything you've been able to achieve in this business. You've been able to stay with your kids full time. You've been able to work from your son's classroom. You've been able to move your four children on your own across the country and still bring in an income. Yep. Even if it was just, you know, a thousand dollars a month, whatever it was, that's an extra $12,000 a year. And you haven't had to sacrifice any time with your children. And that, was my like it still gives me goosebumps that was my defining moment and i was so overcome with gratitude for everything this business has provided for me 
And I, I just wanted to share that with everyone. I think that's so important. I actually just talked to somebody who came back in the business and she was talking about why she came back. Like there's a part that she wasn't grateful for the money that she actually was bringing in. Like, cause we're always looking for like, oh, it's not enough. I'm not making enough yet. Why am I not going there fast enough? Instead of looking at that, that was an extra 12,000, like you said, an extra $12,000 a year. And some people had nothing coming in. So I love that. So that defining moment is so important. Okay, keep going because I think you guys will see the patterns are the same, right? The everything that she's sharing is a simple system. It doesn't matter how you do it as long as you do that. Call those people. Let's go through that again. Surrender the system. Call the people. Go. What are the steps again that you would sh share? Just like break yeah. it down for them. Yeah. Okay. So it's just, it's a really simple business and um, you, let's not overcomplicate it. When we overcomplicate it, we get overwhelmed. So our, we have a simple system. Our system works like this. We create curiosity through social media, starting conversations, um, doing those reach outs, right, that I spoke about. Then once they're interested, once they say yes, we either send them an event or add them to a preview group, whatever it is that you do follow up which is so 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 important the fortune is in the follow-up and then once they come back interested you put them in front of your upline that's yeah. all this business is those four simple steps and you don't need to be the expert and know everything because there is so much support in this business and that's what your upline is there for and that's one of the main reasons i love this because we just don't get that support in normal day-to-day -day life i love that I love yeah that that's it, right? Wash and repeat. Uh huh. Wash and repeat. Why do you think everybody makes it so complicated? What do you think? What do you think it is that makes people just go, "Oh, I can't do this." Like, what do you think that it is? What's What do you think is stopping people? I think what's stopping people is um, their own self belief. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I think we're so worried about what other people will think of us when really we should just be focusing on our goals and what we want to achieve. And it's not, it's not our decision what other people think of us, that's on them. So, you know, we're the ones who are out here changing lives and creating magic and uh, bettering ourselves. You know, it's up to other people to decide if they don't want that and that's okay. It's not for everyone. Yeah, I love it. So I love how simple you kept it. So let's just go through it and let's give everybody some homework. So let's go through those steps again, those very simple steps that you gave. Surrender to this very simple system, <laughs> and, uh, right? I love them. That's my favorite. That's my favorite new thing. So surrender to the system. If I use that, I'm going to have to like make sure I edify you all the time because I love that. So <laughs> surrender to the system. And let's go. Let's go through the steps again and give everybody a little bit of homework for each one. So. Okay, cool. So let's surrender to the system. We want to create curiosity through social media, right? So um, this is one of the high paying activities. So I would love for you to all go and do a social media post today around the business. You know, if we want to grow a sustainable business, you need to be inviting. So share your story, okay? Your story is the most powerful tool that you have. And if so you what well, what would you say to those people that say, I'm not good with social media? Um, then go, uh, go and share your story with someone face to face. Like this business does not have to be done through social media. It's network marketing, right? We're here to network with people and talk to people. Um, go, go start a conversation. You know, you might be speaking to someone in the checkout line. I don't know if you guys are allowed to go out yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, you might want to just start a conversation, ask about them, ask how their day is going, ask how they're enjoying their job, and then share a little bit of your story and how you can resonate with what they're saying to you. Become a master asker, right? That's right. It's all about being a master asker. Awesome. Next step. Yep. So next step is once they are interested, I would love for you to send them some information. Please do not do not feel like you have to tell them everything and spew juice plus all over them because it's the stories in our events and um, testimonies that people resonate with because they will hear someone that is just like them and look at that person and think, 
wow, if they can do it, so can I. Awesome. Yeah. And, and then, yep. then once you want to set up a follow-up time. So I like to send, set up a follow-up time, you know, pretty much straight away, I will say to them, so when do you think you'll have a chance to watch this by? And they're like, they might say, oh, uh, you know, I can watch it now. Great, fantastic. I will be back at my computer in 15 minutes. I will touch base with you then and answer any questions that you have. So you want to follow up whilst they're excited and it's fresh in their minds, because if you give them too much time, you know, the life gets in the way. Yep. So, yeah. We following call, up. We call that latency. And I think, you know, we, we talk about, you know, everybody understanding that really the fortune is in the follow-up because if they don't, if it's not top of mind, it's not going to happen. Right. That's right. So maybe what's an example of that where somebody, maybe you didn't follow up with it. Was there something you didn't follow up with and they joined the business or said, yes. Was there any a situation that you're like, dang, I wish I would have followed up or has that always been a great thing that you've done? Oh no, that's definitely happened. <laughs> um, in fact, it actually happened to me not long ago. Um, look, even at this stage in my business, it happens, right? I want to say I'm on top of absolutely everything, but sometimes, you know, life does happen. And a girl that I had been speaking to for quite some time ended up joining another person. Um, I did follow up, you know, it, it was a couple of months ago was the last time that I did check in with her. But then in, you know, that wasn't the right time for her. And I just let it go after that. I was like, okay, well, you know, I followed up this many times and she's not interested. And then about a month ago, I saw that she joined somebody else. So, you know, that's um, the fortune is in the follow up. So keep following up until you get a flat out. No, it's not for me. And even then it's not a no forever. It's just a no for now. That's a great, that's a great thing to say until you really get, and like, look at me, like mine's 17 years, right? I said no for 17 years. So just keep following up, keep doing the do, keep being the best, you know, distributor for yourself. So what would be the final homework that you would give everybody? This has been great. I love it. What would be the final homework for getting someone started? Because do you think people get overwhelmed? I mean, I personally think if Cheryl hadn't kept it as simple that she did for me, I probably wouldn't be where I am today because I keep it crazy simple. You know, I do exactly what you do. Really, really make sure that, you know, that people make that list. They think about that vision. They surrender the system and then do all of this and did the follow-up. So what, what, what would be the last bit of homework you would give everybody? Oh, sorry, my phone just started That's ringing. Um, so the last bit of homework is to use your upline. This is the system. So really lean into your upline. Um, you have like, you know, five uplines above you, lean into them. Um, you can use a sideline as well. So once that once you've followed up and they've come back to you and they've said, this sounds amazing, I would love to know more, add them straight into a chat with your upline or introduce them on a call because it is not your job to be the expert. And you are like, if it's business, you're teaching that prospect from the very first conversation that you're having with them, how this business works. And you want to show them that there's support for them. They don't need to know everything when they come into this because so many people might look at you if you're the one, you know, giving them all the answers and think, wow, Lauren knows everything. I can't do what Lauren does. I can't do this business. But if Lauren gets you on a call with Lauren and Cheryl and Cheryl's there helping answer the questions, you're like, okay, wow, there's somebody else there to help. This is fantastic. Right. I think that's the biggest thing. Most people, we always say, you know, the person that's most resourceful always wins. And the challenge that happens is people just don't use the resources that are around them. Like you said, like it might even be, that's why it's really important to get to know people within um, you know, the Facebook groups that you're members of, whether it's your team Facebook group or like the big, you know, like maybe this Facebook group here, because you, you can go through there and you might need a dentist and you can call on Suzanne, Suzanne Sadie, or you might need someone who's an actor and, or someone that speaks Spanish, you can call Andres or, you know, you, you never know who might be that person. So be careful not to make it just about you and that you're the only person that can talk to that person, right? Be, um, because you just never know. So. Awesome. Well, this has been amazing. I see we have a couple people. I see Leanne and Kara. I don't know if they're over there in Australia, if they're in the US, if you guys have any questions for um, her, but this has been really, really fabulous. I love it. My favorite. 
My favorite, favorite, favorite. I love that you keep it so simple. So thank you so much for having me. It's been so much fun. Well, yeah, and, and a lot of people I'm sure will be responding afterwards just because we have a lot of people on in Europe and a lot of people, like I said, that are still at work here. And a lot of people that are just Zoom fatigued. But do you ladies have any questions for her? Awesome. Well, this will go into the library. And thank you so much. And I look forward to giving you a hug in person very soon. I can't thank wait you. for that. Thank you so much, guys. Good luck. I can't, wait to, I can't wait to give you an NMD bracelet, too. So oh, let's, yes. let's make that. <laughs> And what's our goal for NMD? What's our goal for NMD 24 Club? Just so I can put it on my vision board, right? Oh, June conference this year. That's that's my goal. Sorry. Oh, so I'm putting that on my board because I do put everybody's, um, you know, especially my frontline. I put their goals on my manifestation board too. So you're going on, even though you're not frontline. I adore you, and I'm honored to know you, and can't wait to be with you. So. Oh, I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye.